Hey YouTube, welcome to my channel. Welcome to Vlogmas. Ooh, it's sunny over there. It is Monday, it's a new week. I'm thinking to I put my hair up because it needs to be washed, so it's gonna be up today. I'm thinking to self-tan tonight and wash it tomorrow because you do have to wash off the guide color, so I like to plan these things out. But I'm gonna put on my morning eye patches, make myself a latte. I bought this matcha powder and I have to redo my nails because I took them off. I'm just that person. I bought this matcha off of Amazon and it's actually really good. It's not too bitter, it's not too earthy, it's not, like some matchas I've tried off of Amazon are just, this one's really nice. This one's like latte grade, so it's from the first harvest. I read the reviews of so many different matchas over the weekend, before the weekend, because I already ordered this when it came on the weekend. And this one seemed like the best fit, and I am not disappointed at all. So I'll show you guys later when I make like an iced matcha. I've just been loving it. I'm trying to replace some of my coffee drinks because I love coffee so much with matcha. I love matcha as well. Probably second on my list, probably like coffee, matcha. And matcha has many great benefits as long as you get like a good quality one. And I like to add a little bit of honey into mine. My dad makes his own honey, and it's like the perfect drink with some steamed milk, just so good. And you can do it hot or iced. I'm just gonna let these eye patches do their thing while I make my morning coffee and get the day started. I was just recording for the past like five minutes, but my battery died midway, and whenever my battery dies, the data doesn't record onto the memory card, so I lost everything. I'm gonna do my eyebrows and kind of talk through, but I was essentially saying that the entire I took up the entire morning by researching some new skincare products that I wanted to add to my collection as well as some new hair care products. Now that I have really light hair, I want to transition to some other products that are kind of targeted towards blonde, color treated hair. And as I was looking up some products, I found some really neat products in Orbe. There's one for like a scalp scrub and then there's another spray-in that helps kind of like thicken the hair strands from the root. It had, it's really expensive, but it had really great reviews. So once those come in, I'll include them in a vlog, but I feel like with hair health, there are so many different products out there that can treat the actual hair that comes out of your scalp. A lot of times for people like me, my main concern is the follicles and the actual scalp itself. I feel like that has to be at its prime best condition in order for my hair to be at its best. So I found the scalp scrub that I don't have dandruff really or anything like that, but I'm really trying to have a very healthy scalp. So I found a few products, I'll share about those, and then some skincare products. And then this ring came in today. I saw a photo on Pinterest of a Cartier ring with something like this and I thought it was super cute so I went Amazon to hunt for something similar and I found this ring here. I just typed in like Cartier love ring or whatever or Car Cartier, I don't know, I forgot what I typed in and I came across this one and I was like wow that's like a really good dupe. So it came in, the photos did not say that it was going to be you know Cartier ring like I was like okay I know that this is not and lo and behold I just realized today I was like, this is a little bit more than a dupe. Because I looked inside and I was like, all right, this is um, a little bit more than a dupe. I'm not sure if it's picking up on camera. I had no idea. Like the photos, the description said nothing. I just thought it was a really good dupe. I'll try to link a very similar one because the seller has gone off of Amazon. Pretty sure I know why. But there is another one that I saw. It looks exactly the same. It doesn't claim that it's Cartier, but it looks exactly the same. So I'll link these two down below for anybody who's interested because I think it's such a cute little stack. But anyway, I'm just going to do my eyebrows real quick. We're not going anywhere today. And today I'm just going to go all natural with the makeup and leave it like this because literally not going anywhere and I do want to self tan later today. So then I'll just wash my hair tomorrow. Um, and then I'm gonna go do some homeschool with my daughter right now. It is Monday. It is a new week My husband's working outside since it is such a nice warm day. There's a lot of stuff that he has to do Outside today is just like a typical Typical day in my life where we're just gonna chill do some homeschool and See where the day takes us. I do think I'm gonna make some matcha because I already drank my coffee from the morning
typical Russian borscht. I added in my water and I set the timer for 60 minutes. It's down to 56 now, but I don't have broth. Usually broth, like beef broth or bone broth is great for this, but I do have some leftover broth situations packets from every plate. Like if I don't use up a recipe, I have like this whole packet of leftovers. I would say broth, um, like a bone beef broth is probably the best flavor in my opinion. I'm gonna add the broth, let that simmer for about almost an hour, and then I have some laundry to do, and I'm gonna wash some windows like once the light starts shining in. You can see which windows need to be cleaned, which ones the kids have been touching way too much. Pepper out there, hi Pepper. So while the soup is going, I'm just gonna go ahead and wash all these windows real quick. changing because it is just so hot my face is like I'm literally so hot so I had to change into a t-shirt but I'm gonna leave a recipe for the soup down below because uh, me explaining it is just not gonna do it justice I don't use this recipe because we've been my mom has been making it since I was a child so I kind of incorporated her recipe and tweaked a few things and just kind of like do my own thing but if you've never made the soup before and you would like to try it I'll leave the recipe down below I also forgot you're gonna need potatoes that's like a big thing so basically the soup is is like you can do whatever kind of meat my mom will sometimes do chicken uh, I guess you could do pork we love beef so I'll use beef and let it get tender in broth for about 40 to an hour and then you're gonna need potatoes onion carrots tomatoes cabbage and that's essentially literally the whole soup. I'll leave the recipe down below, but I just chopped my potatoes. I'm gonna throw those in and add some more water to there because a lot of it is gone. There's about 17 more minutes, so by the time, this is perfect timing to put the potatoes in because it does take about 15, 20 minutes for the potatoes to get soft. You don't want them too mushy, so you wanna time everything perfectly. So there's that, and I'm gonna fry up some onion, carrots, and have that ready to throw in and chop up some cabbage to have that ready to throw in as well. do is I we got like these beets from BJ's right here and they're already peeled cooked cooked beets ready to eat makes it so easy you just kind of grate them on a grater throw them in and you got this Russian soup borscht and last but not least the dill I know this seems like a lot but for us <laughs> it's totally normal and my mom has her own dill during the summertime so she'll just like chop it up and then put it into little baggies. So there, you basically have dill all winter long. You could do fresh dill. Fresh dill is obviously better, but this works just fine. And then you just spoon this into a bowl, eat it with like a dollop of sour cream, bread, delicious. myself another latte the sun is setting it's about I think it's like almost it's like 4 30 but the sunsets in the winter time are probably the most favorite just the way the sun is positioned in the sky versus the summertime it's a little bit too bright so you can't really see but it's just so gorgeous look at that get my latte get my tablets go sit in my favorite little corner by the Christmas tree I'm gonna miss the Christmas tree so much when it's time to put it away. I'm gonna probably keep it up until Russian Christmas or European Christmas, which is January 7th. And it's nice that it's a fake tree because I don't have to worry about it drying out. I don't know what she's yelling about. It's not like mean yelling. She's like, that's her excited yelling. They're playing pretend. They love pretend play. I'm actually thinking this week to put together their I got them uh, for Christmas. A Why are you whispering? <laughs> Jeez, you hear everything. It came in and you just have to put it together. So I'm thinking to do that this week, just in case something's broken, a part is missing, and I need to return it before Christmas so that I have enough time. Because you don't want to assemble it the night before Christmas Eve and find out that something's broken or missing. But this little situation here, which I'm thinking they're gonna love. So, they love pretend play, so I figured this would be perfect, and I'm thinking to put it together 
to this week in one of the vlogs. So I'll probably do that. Yeah, so I think I'm gonna finish the vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed hanging out these little snippets of a life. Every day is different, but there's a lot of things that are the same. So give this video a thumbs up if you did. Say bye guys, see you in the next one.